Richard Yetzinger is Head of Global Foreign Exchange at ANZ Banking Group in Sydney. Richard, many thanks for joining us this Monday morning. First of all, the reaction to the Thai baht. Is it the best result for the currency if you were an investor? Well, not necessarily. I think the best result for the currency really is that um, whoever is elected is allowed to govern. Um, and so far, that there's some, I guess, small signs that, uh, that that's what we're seeing. Certainly no widespread discontent um, at the election result. And it's pretty hard to, I think, to, to protest the result too much, given it's a reasonably strong signal about what the electorate at large wants for Thailand. And being the worst performing currency so far in Asia this year, Will this now change its direction, do you think? Oh, absolutely. I don't think there's any question about that. I mean, I, I think the currency really has been pricing in very much a worst-case scenario, much like uh, global foreign exchange the last couple of months has been pricing in a worst-case scenario for Greece. But in the case of Thailand, you've seen, I think, seven consecutive weeks of equity outflows from Thailand. Um, as you mentioned, the currency has been the worst performing in the region over the past month or so. Uh, I think the Thai baht can strengthen in the short term and quite handsomely. So is your team therefore saying to your clients that this is the one to go for right now, for the, next, for the short term at least? Well, I think in the short term, as I say, yes, we can have a significant rebound. I would say over the past months, perhaps 5% or so in the Thai baht to take the dollar back towards the lows that we saw a couple of months ago, um, and then we'll probably reassess at that point. Richard, what is the best trade right now? Because it's so difficult to sort of uh, weigh out the various concerns, the U.S., a debt issue, the European contagion, the Chinese inflation. I mean, it's quite hard to pick a currency apart from a safe haven like the Aussie or a Swiss franc, isn't it? Well, I th probably I'd say let's not delve too much into the detail. I think, as you mentioned, between currencies, there's always reasons to talk you out of a position and to talk you out of a story in a particular currency. But I think the overwhelming trend in foreign exchange still is the US dollar is weakening. It, it, uh, it peaked out about a week ago um, as uh, concerns about Greece, I guess, reached their crescendo. My expectation now is Greece continues to fade as a short-term market driver. And we go back to one very simple fact, and that is the US still has an external deficit to finance. The recovery is very modest. Interest rates are still at zero, and that makes almost anywhere else a better investment proposition than the US. For your clients, is, is the U.S. concerns becoming a far larger issue on the radar than, for example, the Eurozone? Look, certainly. I mean, I think, um, you know, Europe's probably done enough to paper over the cracks of Greece, maybe not sustainably, but certainly for the next couple of months. And yet issues, for instance, about the debt ceiling in the U.S. are rising again. You know, a couple of months ago, markets were flirting with thinking about the Fed tightening perhaps this year. And again, we're left with the, the uncomfortable feeling that the only reason the U.S. economy is growing at all is because the U.S. has interest rates at zero. I just can't see how they can raise rates at this point. And certainly, if you look also at the impact of the currency, um, you know, the export sector in the U.S. has been one of the moderately bright parts of the economy. The dollar really can't strengthen in a sustained fashion under those, that set of conditions. We've seen a lot of interest on the, in the Aussie, for example, the Russian Central Bank cutting its uh, U.S. bond holdings again, moving into the Aussie, Latin American investors, European investors, U.S. investors again. I mean, are you surprised by the sort of, if you like, a dramatic interest in the Aussie or not? No, not really. I mean, if the, the fundamental story in Australia, I think, is pretty well known. People spend, seem to spend a lot more time talking themselves out of the story than into the story. Um, I think the overwhelming fact is, unless you think there's going to be some sort of extended series of interest rate cuts in Australia, the currency will continue to trade very strongly. Um, I think it's already probably uh, based for the meantime. Uh, the next target is 110, the recent highs, and then beyond that, 113. Richard, final question for you. Neck on the block. What's the best currency trade for the next two months? Uh, the next two months, probably sell dollar Thai baht. Um, behind that, uh, buy the Kiwi. Thanks for thank joining us, Richard Yetzinger, the ANZ Banking Group, Thank the you. head of Global Foreign Exchange. Thanks for joining us this Monday morning.